that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Unif Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be responding to tons of requests that has been made for a particular DIY. And it is this Regency style feathered floor lamp. It looks like it's got in perfectly perfect ostrich feathers. I'm going to use basic items to recreate this beautiful floor lamp. I'm going to be starting off with the feathers. This is a feather that I made and the one on my other hand is the one that I bought online. And this is what the pack looks like and they're ostrich feathers and it's a pack of 10. Now for this entire project if you want to use just these feathers you're going to need five packs and that's going to cost a lot of money. Now because the feathers are not wide enough and I want the lamp to really be full and bulky I had to make my own and make it wider. And I used yarn from Walmart. Now with yarn and floral wire, you can make your own feathers. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm going to cover up the wires. Now I'll recommend using floral tape, but what I'm using is electrical tape because I couldn't find floral tape. So I'll recommend you use floral tape for this. I'm going to start off with two strings and then I'll show you guys how I'm going to make my own feather. After having the two strings like this, I'm going to put one like this and one under the first one and then pick the one that's at the bottom, tie them together and then pull the strings from both sides. I'll be repeating this again for those of you who were learning this technique for the first time. Now this is not the only way to do this. There are other ways of making DIY feathers, but this is the way that I have been using and it works for me. It might seem like it's a lot of work, but trust me, when you get a hang of it, after making three or five, you're gonna notice that your hand is gonna know exactly what to do and you'll be a lot faster. When I was done, I glued it at the back. After that, I turned it over and combed it out. I'll be combing both sides. If you've seen an ostrich or a picture of an ostrich, you would notice that the feathers are kind of fluffier than other feathers that you find on other birds. So that's why with this technique, you are sure to have a much fluffier feather. I'm trimming it down to give me a feathered shape. I'm done with the feather and this is what mine looks like. And this is what the one that I got online looks like besides it. The 
The next thing I'll do is attach all the feathers to a lampshade. Now you can use any lampshade, but I would recommend you use a wider lampshade. What I had was a lampshade that's not too wide, but I wish I had a wider one. So I will strongly recommend you use a wider lampshade. That way the feathers are gonna stretch out more. Because I already got some feathers that I bought online, I'll be mixing both the ones that I bought with the ones that I made and attaching them all to the lampshade. You should try as much as you can to cover up the whole lampshade with feathers because the fuller it is, the better. Now moving on to the base. This is a wooden lamp base that I got from Walmart. And this is the only item that I used for this project that was quite pricey. Pricey, meaning $32. Now I'm gonna take off the top and then stretch out the cord. I'm doing this because I want this to be a floor lamp, so I'll be increasing it and giving it an extra four feet. To keep this standing upright, I'll be using empty contact paper rolls. These are not paper towel rolls, these are contact paper rolls. You can use any other slim but strong rolls that you get from packaging. Maybe even the ones you get from wallpapers. I'm gonna cut this into two and attach them to the lamp base. I'm gonna make something here to extend just a bit to make it look like a stem using foil sheets that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now I use the lamp base and this technique to make this extra stem here to make it look a little bit realistic, similar to the picture. If you don't care about making it exactly the way it is in the picture, you can just go ahead and use a regular lamp and just make your shade and then put it on top of it and you're done. Now to give a continued texture as the base, I'll be using the same foil sheets to give me the texture that I want from this side here all the way to the top. When I was done, I took it out and I spray painted it gold. When it was dry, I brought it in and fixed the shade that I made on it. The lamp turned out gorgeous and I enjoyed this project. I hope you all enjoyed it too. Now don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.